All right, so today we are gonna try out the new Navac refrigerant gauges. The, forgive me, NT2, N, N2DX refrigerant gauges. Um, this is a manifold that it is digital. Um, it looks a lot like an analog set. Um, you can adjust the refrigerant and it's got a uh, nice accurate saturation temperatures right here. So today I'm charging this air conditioner. I got some refrigerant here. Um, my scale hooked up, zeroed out. Um, I have that to measure my superheating sub cool because it doesn't do it through the uh, gauges, but it's the first time charging uh, with this system. As you can see, we're low. Got 86 degree liquid line and 86.9. So essentially no sub cooling. So I'm gonna put a little bit of refrigerant in and um, we're gonna see how these gauges do. So I'm already purged. Let's see how quickly. They react pretty quickly. Um, I gotta say, I really like these handles. I was nervous about it, about maybe flooding a compressor out, but as you can see, you see quite a bit of control. It's not bad at all. So I'm gonna charge this and I'm gonna come back and um, see where we're at. I'm gonna get a proper sub cooling and then I'm gonna uh, switch to the suction line, make sure our superheat is regulating properly. So come back. Well, as I'm adding charge, I'm just gonna talk about this manifold. So. One cool thing that you see on some other digital manifolds, but this one has it as well, is your sight glass. So you can actually see liquid refrigerant going through there, for example. You see that kind of flash and bubbles. Um, it's a really nice manifold, honestly. Um, it doesn't do all the things, like it's not gonna compete with the S-Man manifold or the Testo 550s. Um, just in the fact that it doesn't have the temperature clamps. However, um, it has a real nice old school feel. Um, a lot of us kind of graduated to, I don't want to say graduated, but we started using digital manifolds after we've been in the field for a while, more accurate readings and things. Um, and these, they still have the dial on it, which is really, it's really cool. Um, and uh, it's still, have to see accuracy of a digital manifold, which I really appreciate. Um, Cause I really like seeing how my numbers turn out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a nice product, especially if you're coming off of being used to analog gauges. Um, kind of an old school guy that really likes the needle and being able to watch it. This is a really good option. Um, I will say I did get these for free from going to the HVAC school symposium. They gave out a bunch of them. so. Thanks, Navac. Um, and um, I'm just giving my honest review here. Um, so far, I really like them. I haven't used them a ton, um, but they're a nice set for sure. It definitely makes me want to look more into some of their higher end products, some of their higher end manifolds. Um, but yeah, it's nice and light. It's got good materials. Um, it's been in the back of my van and can't even really tell. I still have the screen protector on it. Might as well protect the screen as long as I can. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely a nice set here. Um, and uh, we'll see. I mean, they look like they're going to hold up pretty well. They're pretty sturdy looking. So I want to finish charging this air conditioner up. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my, uh, my review of them. And uh, like I said, I really like these quarter inch ball valves um, or shut off valves. I didn't really think I would because I'm used to the field piece ones that you turn all the way. Um, but these are nice. You don't have to, you don't have to do all that. Um, it's just a quick turn and you're right there. So definitely nice for that. So that's probably going to be about it. Um, not a long video, not a super long review because they are a simple manifold. Um, you do have a lot of refrigerant options though, which is pretty cool. Um, this shows you what refrigerants you can get. You can go through a lot of them. And you can do different pressures, different different things. Just gotta hit this little power button to go back to the pressure screen. There we go. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely liking them. So yeah, that's pretty much it.